And they're Brad's new chef's chicken sandwiches. The original take. I think is what they call it. Classic take? I don't know. You saw the title. Hear me out on this one. I know some of you just skipped to the food, but there's a story for this one. It's interesting. There's a reason I'm redoing this sandwich. <clears throat> so, this came out as a test item in Greenville, South Carolina last year. I lived in Greenville, South Carolina last year. And up until three days ago when Timmy's Takeout did a video, I was the only review up on YouTube of this. And that was an interesting review. One, because I accidentally shot it in slow motion, so I didn't get any audio. I had to speed the video up and I had to record a voiceover. <laughs> Link above if you want to see that, because I also do the spicy sandwich in that video. Um, secondly, I was outraged about two things. One, the price. I mean, it's Panera. Things are expensive. I thought the price was outrageous. I don't remember what it was. I think it was like 12 bucks. Now it's 11. That's still a lot. I was mad about that, and I was upset that the garlic aioli that comes on it had allergen warnings everywhere. It, was, it contains anchovy. I'm allergic to fish. I don't know how allergic I am to anchovy, but I wasn't really dying to find out. I did take a bite of the sandwich. I did express my thoughts on that. But I also expressed my thoughts on the fact that this is the only chicken sandwich in the fast food, fast casual market at all that people with a fish allergy can't eat. You shouldn't have to think about that when you get a chicken sandwich. So I wasn't gonna review this one again. I raised a big stink about it um, in my review. And interestingly enough, Chewboom.com, I, I sent him my review of that um, to tip him off that that was a thing. And he phrased it in the title a little deceivingly, like a little bit of an exaggeration. He said, topped with anchovies. <laughs> a little bit of a hyperbole there, because well, the sauce technically has anchovy in it for a more umami flavor. It was not really topped with anchovies. But I honestly think that got the attention of Panera. Because this is the first test item I've seen, I've seen, where they actually changed something. There's no more allergen warnings. There's no more anchovy in the ingredients. Interesting. There is something that says natural umami flavor. So either A, they're lying about it and that is anchovy, or B, which is the more ethical take that they probably took, there's no more anchovy. Cool. So I will give them another shot. I will try this thing. I will actually eat the whole thing and enjoy it, hopefully. This is the chef's take chicken sandwich. There's a buffalo version with uh, like cucumber pickle chip crisps or whatever. This one has Parmesan crisps. It's got lettuce, it's got tomato, it's got garlic aioli. It's a grilled chicken sandwich. Grilled, it's not like they grill anything at Panera or fry anything or bake anything. I mean, they bake frozen bread, which is Decent enough, right? It's a good looking sandwich. Take a look. You can see the heavily seasoned, good looking chicken flay that was grilled at some point. It's got that nice lettuce and greens, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. It's a garlic aioli on top. And there's these, I don't want to open the sandwich. I still got to get my, my selfie thumbnail. You can see these little Parmesan crisps hanging off the edge there, right? All right, so let's, let's get our selfie. Oh, and I also have one of their new supercharged lemonades or whatever they called it. This one is like strawberry mint, strawberry mint something. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. We'll try it. But let's try this sandwich again. Not a bad job setting up my thing here. Another bite. Mm. Hmm. Kind of bland, actually. The Parmesan crisp overwhelms the flavor. Probably because there's no flavor coming in elsewhere. Let me get just a bite of the chicken. Mmm. I mean, it's seasoned, but... You can tell this is like reheated chicken patty. It's not the juiciest thing. It's kind of dry. 
kind of flavorless. The greens are nice on it, the freshest thing on there. The garlic aioli is all right, but overall it's just kind of a salty parmigiani bite of cheap chicken. So I was trying to be nice to Panera on this one because they rolled it back out. There's no anchovy, but the sandwich. Okay, this is a good $4 sandwich. This is a good $5 sandwich. This is a decent, you know, it's Panera. This, this could be a $6 sandwich. This is not a $10.99 sandwich. And the sad thing is, I'm not gonna sway you one way or the other. You probably weren't gonna try this if you're not a Panera person. And if you are a Panera person, you already don't care about the prices. You're gonna try this anyways. So what's the point of this? I don't know. Most of my own curiosity. I wanted to actually eat more than a bite of the thing. That's good. It's $3.99, but it's good. Put in the title what that actually was. Yeah, ooh, there's the mint. I said there's strawberry, there's lemon. There's, uh, I don't know how to say guarana in there. Guarana, uh, I, I can't say it. Um, there's mint and it hits you on the back end. It's refreshing, very refreshing. I recommend that. Oh, and it comes with a bag of chips. The chips don't, they, they don't offset the cost. I, even at, at $10 with no chips, it would be too much. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see my original review, again, there's, it's a voiceover, so what I'm saying isn't what I'm saying. Uh, but there's a link in the description, there's the link above if you wanna see me review the spicy one, which had way more flavor than this for better or worse, because it had the pickle chips on it. If you don't like that very potent pickle chip flavor, you wouldn't like that. Also, did I say this had tomato? I think I started out by saying that. There's no tomato. I don't know if there's supposed to be tomato. You saw the picture. Is there a tomato? That would help, because this is bland. The girl who served it to me liked it, but She's also a Panera employee. It's kind of her jam, right? <laughs> anyway, speaking of Greenville, I'm going back there this week. I'm going back there tonight. If there's anything I should be reviewing there that I haven't, if you are a Greenville native who hasn't been scared away by me bashing Chick-fil-A yet, um, let me know in the comments. I think I'm getting hit burger. I don't know what else. I'm grabbing a beer with Ash Jalapeno, Jalapeno, if that channel means anything to you, if you know what that is. Um, hanging out with my brother, should be a good weekend. Should be a good weekend. Lots of food, hanging out. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I don't know that I'll be posting again this weekend. Maybe, maybe it'll be a surprise. We'll see. Anyways, I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more like this. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought that like button if you like the video. I, I can't recommend even bothering with this because of the 1099 price tag. That's that's legit money for fast casual. Um, the sad thing is there's a Chipotle right next to this place. 1099 will feed you like a king at Chipotle and it'll be way better, way better, way fresher, way more flavorful. I don't, I don't know, get McDonald's for $4. That'll get a Big Mac. That would taste better than this. McDonald's chicken sandwich. Arguably not better than this, but arguably not much worse. This is pretty bland, guys. Really? Whatever. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Take care.